Shirky Design Products, How To, Duracoat Metallics. Every Duracoat Metallics project begins with the right prep. In this case, the metallic system is going over an existing epoxy or urethane coating. To achieve the proper profile, a 100 grit sanding screen is selected for the rotational floor machine that operates somewhere between 125 and 300 RPM. Other substrates may require additional steps. Consult a spec sheet for details of surface prep. Remove the dust created through sanding by vacuuming. Follow vacuuming with a solvent wipe. Utilize a microfiber wipe with denatured alcohol. The Duracoat Metallics Primer Coat requires that the installer work in spike shoes or sandals. Pour out the three gallon kit onto the prepped surface and a fairly long trail. Completely empty the bucket. Any unused portion left in the bucket will cure at an accelerated rate, rendering it useless. A black or very dark primer coat enhances the reflectivity of Duracoat Metallics. Primer coats may be either Duracoat Pigmented Epoxy 100 or Duracoat Pigmented Water-Based Epoxy. Duracoat Pigmented Water-Based Epoxy will increase coverage because it's applied at a thinner millage. Duracoat Pigmented Epoxy 100 can fill and self-level across the areas that would otherwise require patching, as it can be applied in much thicker millage. Product is spread around with attention given to coverage rate. Other tools may be used for spreading, but an 18 inch roller equipped with a 3 8 inch nap roller sleeve can both spread and back roll the primer coat. After coverage rate is achieved, back roll in the opposite direction. The primer coat should be screened with a 100 grit sanding screen on a rotational floor machine after drying sufficiently usually overnight. This scuffing will ensure not only a good bond between coats, but also eliminate any debris or dust that may have settled onto the primer coat as it was curing. Repeat sanding, vacuuming, and solvent wipe. The Duracoat Metallics coat is spread similarly to the primer coat and requires that the installer work in spike shoes or sandals. A notched squeegee may be utilized in spreading the material that has been completely emptied onto the primer coat. Tracking coverage is essential to achieve the desired three-dimensional look. Coverage should be between 40 and 70 square feet per gallon. This metallic coat is backrolled just as the primer coat. After backrolling, Randomly swirl the metallic coat with a smaller roller in no particular fashion. The swirling motion will soften as the pigments settle into a pleasing patina. Working time for this process is approximately 15 to 20 minutes. The metallic coat should be screened with a 100 grit sanding screen on a rotational floor machine after drying sufficiently usually overnight. This scuffing will ensure not only a good bond between coats, but also eliminate any debris or dust that may have settled onto the metallic coat as it was curing. The Duracoat line has several choices for a finished coat. PFC 120 is selected often for its ease of installation, quick cure time, and high gloss. Apply PFC 120 with a good quality solvent resistant mohair roller in a thin coat. Work in an area that can be comfortably covered with the material on a wet roller. As the roller begins to dry out a little, back roll the same area. Saturate the roller again and cover another similar size area, maintaining a wet edge between the two areas. Learn more at SureCreekDesign.com.